Hey everybody, it's Kim Peterson of Uniquely Savvy and uh, this is my colleague, Tamara. Hi. And uh, so exciting, Tamara and I were just discussing a personal branding workshop for her, her association, but here's what happened is we started having just sort of a real and raw conversation that led to some serious inspiration. It actually brought tears to my eyes and so I kind of look a little crazy, but I'm willing to take one for the team and, and bring um, Tamara's story to light. So Tamara and I were talking and, and Tamara, why don't you share kind of what you shared with me about your upbringing? Yeah, well, I was just inspired by you sharing your story um, to share my story as well. And um, I grew up in a very abusive household and um, hashtag me too. And, um, this went on pretty much from about the time I was four until I was 18 and moved away from home. And I was pretty messed up in the head for a while. Um, from 18 to probably about 23, I, um, I did a lot of um, things that were self-damaging, um, you know, drinking a lot and just not making very good, um, very smart life choices. Um, and one day I woke up um, with a hangover and <laughs> with the hangover <laughs> and I just had this epiphany and I, I I don't even know exactly where it came from but I just had this thought that if I keep doing this to myself then he wins this this person that abused me and all of a sudden I just felt like no he does not get to win I get to be the winner I get to be the winner in my life and I just changed my entire mentality at that point and said, I'm gonna win and he's not. And I'm gonna stop doing these awful things to myself and I'm gonna break the cycle. I'm going to turn my life around. And, um, and that's what I did. And it was not easy. It was very, very hard. And there were a lot of bumps in the road. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure of that having traveled a similar journey. Um, I have a couple questions for you. How old were you when you said, I am not going to let him win? How old were you? I think I was probably right around 23. Right around 23. Mm -hmm. So you've had some time, some years under your belt. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess that's one of the things Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, what I would share with you is that in talking to Tamara, I would have had no idea because she is poised, she's confident, she's put together, uh, she's articulate, and um, so you've, you've had a lot of years of success with what she said is breaking the cycle. It gives me chills to say that right now because breaking the cycle is exactly what we get to choose to do in our lives. Right. Um, tell. Tell our viewers, if you will, you were telling me about you haven't been to therapy, mm -hmm. but you started reading self-help books mm -hmm. back when you were around 23, and then you were talking about reprogramming your brain. Tell us about that brain science and what you did. Yeah, so I, I, once I had this epiphany, I just became very interested in, um, in turning my life around, and so I just started reading everything I could. And one of the things that I read in this book that really resonated with me was about how our brains are very similar to computers and that you can reprogram them. And it had this exercise in this book where um, every night before you go to bed, you'd sit in front of a mirror and look right at yourself and you'd say these positive things. And they had to be positive, positive. Like you couldn't say, I'm not bad. You had to say, I am good. So you would pick these positive phrases and sit in front of the mirror for 10, 15 minutes every night before bed and say them. And I did this every night and I did it not believing a single word I was saying. Mm -hmm. And I kept doing it and I did it for weeks and I did it for months. And eventually it did, it reprogrammed my brain and I started believing these things. I am worthwhile, I am wonderful, I am beautiful, I have value. And over time, my brain believed it, my brain, my brain was reprogrammed. Wow. 
Wow. I mean, folks, are you hearing this? Her brain was reprogrammed, and that's brain science. It's not woo-woo. And, uh, you know, perhaps do you, if you can remember any of those books that you read or, you know, perhaps I can find some additional links and resources to include with this video. Do you remember any of those books? I honestly, I don't. You know, it, this journey for me started 15 years ago, and, um, and in no way am I completely over what happened to me. Um, and it's really only in the last five, or year, five years or so that I've been able to even talk about it openly like this. And um, even making this video right now seems a little crazy to me. Um, but I just want to say that anybody out there, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've experienced, there is hope and there is a way to change your life and to break that cycle and to take control and to be the winner, to be the winner of your life. Wow, I know. You see, this is why I wanted to bring Tamara to you. You can uh, take control of your life, you can be the winner of your life, you have choices, and there's always hope. And so thank you so much for taking this thank time, you. really. And we hope that uh, this was a great shot of inspiration in your day. And speaking of hope, I want to invite you, because you talked about hope, I want to invite you to the 425 Magazine Women to Watch event, which is coming up on April 4th. Um, there's a great uh, lineup of speakers. I'm honored to be one of them. And my speech is going to be called Insist on Hope in Times of Change, because there is always hope. So. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.